Hola, and welcome back to XCOM. Thanks for showing up again. My name's Psycho, as you, I'm, I hope you know. Or maybe this is your first video. Hi, I'm Psycho Revolution. That's, that's my name on the internet. Um, anyway, here we are back in XCOM. Uh, this is basically our, our command. This is XCOM facility. Oh, so I never looked over here. Uh, it's kind of a cool layout. It shows, this is like the whole thing. Oh, I've never actually gone down here. Creepy caves. Uh, you can actually interact and go places by clicking here, but I just use the top spot here. So let's start off with research here. Okay, this is our laboratories. This is where we research. God, shut up, Dr. Van. Val. Valen. Dr. Valen. Whatever. Okay, this is, we're going to start research projects to uh, basically give us some new stuff. So... Uh, I don't have enough resources to do either of these, so I'm going to do xenobiology. Uh, it's crucial to under gain an understanding of aliens, blah, blah, blah. So this is going to take eight days. It's going to use four sectoid corpses. So we're going to go ahead and start it, and these will not take as long if you have more scientists, more or more laboratories, whatever. So let's begin that. We can go to engineering. We can buy things. We can buy satellites or buy med kits. I'm going to buy a couple med kits. Those are always important. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I have the facilities for a satellite. Okay. This is basically the XCOM facility grid. It's going to be different every time. Oh, I've only got one Steam. My on my game. I have like three Steam. So, when I, f I was first playing, I thought Steam was maybe something bad, like it might blow up a facility or something, but if you excavate on Steam, that gives you the option to build a th geothermal power facility, which will give you more efficient power than anything else. And a satellite uplink. Okay, this thing, this is going to allow you to launch satellites over different countries, and when you launch a satellite over a country, it will both lower the panic in that country, we'll go over panic and stuff in a little bit, and it will also, uh, they'll start funding more money to you. So that that's really important. When I first started playing, I didn't realize how important satellites were. You want to get those satellites up as soon as possible. So we're going to look here. I don't have enough engineers or enough money to build a satellite uplink. These will allow for two satellites. And then if you build them next to each other, we get this adjacency bonus. We'll get a uh, plus one satellite. So you want to plan out where you're going to build your stuff. So I don't need a power thing. I don't need the power. I've got 22 out of 30. So I'm going to save my money for now until I can build some more satellite uplinks. So we're going to go over and look at the situation room here. Or we can't. Okay, never mind. Uh, can we look at the barracks? Here we go. Here we go in the barracks. It'll see everyone I've got. Oh, we got some new people here. Australia? I don't think I've ever had an Australian. There's not that many Americans, though. It's, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, I don't get to support my own country? Okay, okay. Krillin? What is it? <laughs> Kir Kirillo. Kirill. I'm, call I'm calling that guy Krillin. I, I, don't, I don't do these. I don't do these foreign names. Look at... Is this like Soviet Russia mode? What is this? Okay. Um, <laughs> where am I? Yeah, let's go back. We're going to expand this event list. This is going to show what's coming up in the upcoming days. In eight days, my research project will be done. In 31 days, I'll have a council report. This basically it gives you a credit, uh, not a credit rating. It gives you a, a grade on how you've done during the month over how many people you've lost, how many missions you've succeeded in, how many you failed, what's went wrong. The council will basically meet, give you a, a grade, and if they don't like what you're doing or if you've been ignoring a country, they'll leave XCOM, they'll withdraw funding. So basically they're gone forever and you won't be getting their money. So you really don't want to lose people. So we're going to go to mission control here. This is basically how we're going to pass time. We can scan for activity, which is going to uh, advance time, as you'll see here. As you see, the days go by. And as you advance time, there's always a chance that there'll be an alien abduction or a terrorist attack by aliens or something. Commander, 
And if you're not uh, equipped to do it, then it's not very fun to see. Ah, uh, this is tough. Okay. So it gives you basically the panic mode. So if you have a high panic area, you're usually going to want to help them more so it'll lower it back down. Uh, panic's not that bad in any of these. But the, the problem here is this one's difficult. And I don't know if my guys are really ready to go on a difficult mission. And this one's moderate. That one's easy. This one gives me engineers. That one gives me scientists. This one, though, gives me 200 bucks. Whatever this currency is. I don't, hell, I don't know. I'm calling it bucks. So, decision time. Do I go for the difficult mission that gives me 200 bucks? Or do I play it safe? I'm feeling like I'm feeling like China maybe because I need some engineers I think for the satellite. Uh, so difficult, but the money, but the money. Uh, oh, I'm going to China. I'm not going to risk it this soon. Not this soon. I can't risk it. Okay, look at his butterface. Uh, Smirnov. I like you. I recognize your name. <laughs> um. Tell you what, I'm going to customize these guys real quick. And I'll see you back and I'll introduce you to the current Psycho Squad, okay? I'll see you in a few. Alright, here we got the squad. We've got Charlie Durand over here. We've got uh, Ivanov, whatever his first name is. We got Denis Lebedev. And we got Smirnoff Ice over here. <laughs> They're kind of lame right now, but they'll get better. I mean, we, we got some more to grow as a, as a family as a unit and as as equipment we got kind of shit equipment right now so we're going to go we're going to go down to Chinatown get some business done we're heading into China and oh we're on the bridge you picked up a local broadcast and we're going to wreck some aliens wreck them good me and my pasty white eastern european assault squad are going to do some damage I'll tell you what, the good thing about this map here is I've only got one direction to go. No one's going to be flanking me. Alright, so the two noobs are in the back. The two guys are in the front. They got one more health there, so that's cool. We're going to have Dennis move up here. And we're going to have you go on Overwatch. No, not yet. I like to wait to put them on Overwatch until the end of the turn because... If I see someone come into, into view an enemy, they might move into a position where he's got a good firing angle on him. So I might want him to fire and not just overwatch. So let's just move him up here. Move him up there. And Smirnoff Ice, I guess you can... He's going to dash up there. I don't want to put him on the sides of the car. Because then they might be exposed. So I'm going to put him... Play it safe, put him behind. These guys are going to run and hide. Oh boy, okay. Overwatch. 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 I will note also that cars can explode. I don't think they ever instantaneously explode, but... Oh, here's got... We've got an Overwatch. He's going to totally miss. Good job, Dennis. Cars will explode. You'll see they'll like catch on fire, and then they'll usually explode in the next turn. But it's not ever for sure. Sometimes they won't. Okay, here we got... We got a, I could totally just rocket him. I could blow up all this shit. I'm doing that. We're just gonna blow it to hell. Come on, Dennis. Show him your rocket. Ugh! <laughs> ah, decimated. Okay, cars do instantaneously explode when they're shot with rockets. I stand corrected. <laughs> Uh, Smirnoff, you can go ahead and move up now that we're not being overwatched on. Let's just put you in overwatch. You can go dash up there. Ivanov. Charlie. Charlie's gonna move up to our left flank over there. Hopefully he doesn't get assaulted. Okay, good. Nothing over there. Take a drink of water. Okay, Ivanov. What you gonna do? I think I'm gonna have you dash. Risky, but that's what I'm willing to take it. And I see nobody. Okay. Wasn't much of a risk then. Let's move 
Charlie, or not Charlie, Dennis up there. I'm, I'm still learning the squad. You're going to have to forgive me. Charlie, you can move up there. Overwatch, son. Shmirnov. We're going to go ahead and dash up there. There's not much cover. Forward cover without dashing, so we're going to dash. See what these sectoid bitches are going to do. They're going to make noise over here. There's something out there. Why don't, why don't you speak Russian? Whatever. Whatever. Uh, Ivanov. We're gonna we're gonna take a risk here. We're gonna dash up there. Okay, there they are. No, no problem. I'm covered. Hopefully, I'm not too offensive here. Offensive, not offensive. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not too offensive and get my guys killed in the sake of entertainment, but. You know, sometimes sometimes people gotta die for entertainment. Single player, you know, sometimes I have to deliberate. Spend a while deliberating. Did they overwatch? I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a move to that side. Let's go ahead and take a shot here. Even if I miss, I think I'll hit the car. Maybe? Nope. That's suppressing usually. If you once you get the ability to suppress, which I think a couple classes can. Uh, once you do that, you can actually suppress somebody in order to destroy their cover. I can't keep using these grenades. I'm going to lose all these weapon fragments and shit. I'm going to have to move in and get up and close and personal. Show them who's boss. Move up there, Charlie. Let's see, what do you got? 45? Let's try it. Let's try it. Come on. Yeah! That's right. Watch his toes wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> this game does have some some bugs, which keeps it from being perfect. Sometimes there's some camera flaws and some uh, shooting through walls and such, but other than that, it's it's beautiful. What are they, are they having sexual intercourse over there? I don't know. They're, they're doing the cha-cha slide over there. Reverse, reverse. Okay, move up there, buddy. He's not going to have a shot, is he? Fuck. Ugh. Overwatch. That was a dumb move on my part. I should have realized he wouldn't have a shot from that angle. Okay, 47%. Let's look at this. What a. Okay, it would be 67, but since the alien's in low cover, I lose a 20% chance. So, maybe you understand the percentages more now. Charlie's gonna totally whiff. That's alright. That's not Charlie, that's. Dennis. God. Good thing these guys can't hear me. They would be appalled at me butchering their names. Okay. Still can't shoot them. Overwatch mode. Engage. What are they going to do? Oh, they're going to mind meld. Oh, we got a third guy over there. Uh-oh. Reaction shot. Boom. Miss. Total whiff. Way to go. Way to go. Is that Ivanov? Okay, he's gonna move. Oh, shit. Ah! Critical hit! Oh. I cannot lose a guy in the first mission. I cannot. Please. Okay, he does not, he does not have a shot, luckily. Yeah, that was Ivanov. He's down to two health. And he doesn't have a... He does not have a medical kit. The two rookies have medical kits. I equip them. Okay, we got a 100% chance to kill him, so he is dead. For sure. Boom! Shotgun to the face! Lebedev. Dennis. What do you got? 20%? 27? That's no good, Dennis. That's no good. Move up there, Charlie. You're gonna get shot at. Fuck. Ugh! Please miss. Shit. That's a hit. Two... Two damage. Oh, but I got a flanky. I got a little flanky time. Oh, 65, that's not very good. I could have him take a health kit. But it's only two. Those heal four. And I'd lose this flank shot. So I, I've got to take it. I've got to take it. Come on. Yes! That's going to kill the mind mill, doesn't it? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? 
Or no, I killed the mind melt, the recipient already. Never mind. Never mind. Oh yeah, Q and E will turn the camera. I can turn the camera here and get a better view. I can't do anything though. I can't get a shot. He doesn't have a health pack either. Both of the health packs are on the left side of the bridge. That was not a good idea. <sighs> Ivanov needs health. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to dash. And he does not. He could move over there, and then he'd have a shot. Fuck. Ugh. If that alien moves to this side, he's gonna have a shot on Ivanov, and he might kill him. Throw a grenade, it'll blow up the truck and kill Ivanov. If I fire, I have got like no chance. I've just got I've just gotta overwatch. And pray Ivanov lives to see another day. I'm gonna take some water and hold my breath. Oh god! Okay. Luckily he didn't kill Ivanov, but who is that? That's Dennis, isn't it? Fuck, Dennis. No, that's that's Charlie! Charlie! Ugh! Critically wounded. He got, I got three sh three turns till he bleeds out and is dead. Fifty four. We're gonna have to take it. We're gonna have to take it. I should have had him running gun. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So Charlie is, doesn't have to be revived because the mission's over, so he gets revived automatically. So I didn't even have to go and revive him. So good. Six aliens dead. Zero operatives lost. Mission accomplished. Let's go to the debrief. Let's land this puppy. Let's land Sky Ranger in XCOM Command Center. Everyone wants to be promoted. Wow. Okay. 19 days for Charlie to get uh, back to full health. Now... There will be a thing I can research to cut that in half, which will be a high priority because 19 days is a long time to have someone out of action. Eight days, that's long as well. We're going to go ahead and promote all these guys. Uh, Ivanov, what are you going to do? Tactical Sense is going to confer plus, ta blah, blah, plus five defense per enemy in sight, so up to four. Aggression plus ten critical chance. You know... Plus five defense, that's way better in my book. Okay, we got we got one of each here. One of each class. Heavy uh hollow targeting, plus ten aim Commander, to any to ally. The <coughs> to the situation room. Excuse me. Ah. Plus <laughs> plus ten aim to any allies attack on these enemies that you've shot at or shooting the primaries of the first action isn't ending the turn. The problem is I'll like always forget about that. I'm gonna go with hollow targeting. Charlie Duran, he's gonna be the medic basically. He gets smoke automatically. It will make people harder to uh, shoot. They're gonna get plus 20 defense to everyone in the smoke so that's helpful. We got Mr. Smirnov Ice here. He's gonna be the be the sniper, so he can ice some fools. He gets headshot, which is basically higher chance for a critical hit on an enemy. And there we go. We get six sex toy corpses. I'm just gonna call him that for now on. And eight weapon fragments. Not too shabby. We get a new facility, the workshop. This is gonna add five engineers. And if I have them adjacent, I'll get a refund on the resources I used when building things. And the workshop is it's nice. It's a nice little thing. Uh, panic has increased across Europe and Asia because I did not do those missions. It's going to happen because you're going to have to choose one. The other ones are going to have increased panic. But I got four engineers from doing China. So here we go. Let's, can we look at the situation now? Okay, here we go. This is basically command post, command center. We're going to see the panic. This is the panic of each country. It's not very good in Germany. We need to get something done with Germany there. And then here we see we got a satellite plus a hundred buckaroos per month because I got a satellite on Japan so I'll get 
different amounts of money on different nations. So obviously something like Nigeria isn't going to give me as much money as the United States or the United Kingdom or Russia or any of those. So that's basically this. Uh, I think that's enough enough for today, enough for now. I, I don't know how long this has been. I think it's been plenty long. We had a glorious mission. No one dead. That's good under my book. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay sexy.